<gasps> yes! There's the one source. It's okay, buddy. Come get some tasty lettuce. Dino Experiment 103. I'm testing to see if the Edmontosaurus, the duck-billed dino, is a herbivore, a plant eater. I've tied up a lettuce with shoelaces, which is the perfect bait for a herbivore. If he comes over and eats the lettuce, then I'll know for sure that he's a plant eater. And now I wait. Come on, big fella. He's getting closer. Almost here. Dan! Dan! Come on, Dan, it's time to go to the dentist, honey. Aw, he's leaving. I'm not done with you yet, Amortosaurus. You're done with our shoelaces? Sorry, buddy. Dino Dan! This uh, dinosaur magazine. I'll be this one. What's it called? That's an Edmontosaurus. He kind of looks like a duck. And good observation. He's a duck built dino, and part of my latest dinosaur experiment. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh no, T Rex been bitten. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh, wait a second, Trek. If your Edmontosaurus is a herbivore, Plant eater. It wouldn't even bite or eat a T Rex. How can you tell? Chomp. Doesn't look like it. Arr! I'm not sure you can tell it's a herb before. Dan, cover me. Ricardo, what are you doing? Hiding. Well, I can see that, but why? Because, um, you know, I'm slightly worried that Dr. Sonny might find cavities on me. My mom told me to floss. Why didn't I pause? Ricardo? Ricardo! You, where did he go? Hey there, Anderson. Hi. Have you seen Ricardo? No, I haven't seen him. Oh, really? Well, that's too bad, because I guess he's not going to get to pick a new toothbrush out of the treasure chest. A new toothbrush? <laughs> no. Come on, buddy. We're going to get your teeth cleaned. Exam room one. Hey, Dan, you're in exam room two. Nice, Dan. You've been flossing, huh? Remember what I always say, flossing a day keeps the buildup of plaque in the beginning stages of gingivitis at bay. How can you tell from flossing, Dr. Sonny? With this handy dental mirror, here. Hey, you know what? Check it out on this one. Uh, hmm, this could be useful. Mm-hmm. Now, we're gonna make a copy of your teeth using this mold. Open up. There you go. And now bite down. Nice and hard, nice and hard. Arrgh! Open up. Awesome. And there you go. These kind, sir, are your teeth. Whoa. Why are they all different, Dr. Sony? Well, different teeth are used for eating different things. See these sharp, pointy teeth in the front here? These are for biting. And the flat teeth in the back, those are for chewing. Maybe you can help me figure something out, Dr. Sonny. What's that? Can you tell what an animal eats by looking at its teeth? Yeah, you sure can. 
You see these flat teeth in the back here? My molars? Yeah, your molars, right. So molars are used for chewing and grinding. So if an animal only has flat teeth like these molars, then that means it can only eat plants. How come? Well, because it doesn't have any sharp, pointy teeth for biting and tearing meat. Like these ones? Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. So I just need a dinosaur to bite down on one of these things to prove it was a plant eater. A what? A dinosaur? And a Montosaurus, to be exact. Give that a swirl, would you? Well, I tell you what, Dan. If you can get an Montosaurus to bite down on a plate like this and see that it only has flat teeth, then yes, you would know for sure if it only ate plants. Excuse me, Dan. Ricardo! Mm? Uh, you can go ahead and spit that out. Now I know just what to do. Dino Experiment 103 continues. If I see that the Edmontosaurus has flat teeth, I'll know it's a plant eater. So now the Edmontosaurus opens his mouth. I'll stick this in it, and instead of just seeing his teeth, I'll make a mold of him to prove he's a plant eater. Now, where is he? Here he comes! Why don't you open your mouth and eat some? Uh, this? Oh, never mind this. Come on, open wide. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, don't go. I think I need mouth opening tips from a pro. Come on, Ricardo, open up, please. Please! Ricardo won't open up either? What's Dr. Sonny doing? Ha-ha! <laughs> Sonny the clown says, ah! <sighs> oh, okay, tough crowd. What else can I do? Tyrannosaurus Rex! What? <laughs> nice one, Dan, the old scare tactic, huh? I'll have to remember that. See you back in exam room, too. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sam. I knew a good scare would work on the amount of source, too. Yes. Can I have the too? Hmm. What could scare the Edmontosaurus? Oh, yeah! T-Rex will do the trick! Tearing me. The Edmontosaurus is definitely a herbivore. Dino Experiment 103 closed. Thanks for your help, T Rex! Okay, Dan, I just need to take one final look here and. Uh... That's weird. How did this get here? Cavity-free. Awesome. You must have a great mom. Shrek, I figured it out. We know the Edmontosaurus is a plant eater because it only had flat teeth for chewing and grinding plants. Cool. Ah! Ah! Ricardo? Dr. Sonny can't tell me I have cavities if he can't find me. Ricardo! Hey, buddy. 
Guess what? No cavities! No cavities? Really? I mean, I knew that. I wasn't worried or anything. No, you weren't worried at all. Hey, you want to get some from the treasure chest? Do I ever? OK, Trick, you're next. Oh, looks like I got to get some x-rays for you. These ones I got are out of date. What are x-rays? Oh, thanks. X-rays are pictures you can take of your bones and teeth right through the skin. Isn't that cool? And guess what? I don't even have to be in the room with you. X-rays? Why didn't anyone tell me I could just take x-rays? Look at the size of this one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.